This is the fishing bucket challenge. Whoa. And I'm giving away free fishing gear. Before I tell you how to get that fishing gear, let me explain this fishing bucket challenge. Step one is get yourself a bucket or three buckets, I don't care. Then go to your favorite fishing spot. In my case, my backyard, because since I live on the water and I fish right here, this is the perfect spot. And you're gonna wanna wear some kind of glove since you're gonna be picking up other people's sh Or don't wear gloves, I don't know what you're into. Wait, how does it go? So you made it to your favorite fishing spot and you got your bucket or buckets. Now to complete the fishing bucket challenge, you gotta fill at least one bucket, these are five gallon buckets, with trash. And my backyard is full of trash because you see those mangroves, right on the other side of those mangroves is the bay, salt water. If you take a look, there is plastic and trash. Hey, there's even a fishing lure. Sometimes the tide comes all the way up here. And as you can see, that leaves a bunch of trash. What are the chances that there's two light bulbs next to each other? It looks like somebody got their drink on. What kind of trash? My guess is it's probably from all over the world. Just give you a little sneak peek. So if you go out that way, or if you go that way, you can get into the ocean. This trash comes from the ocean during the tides and gets pushed up into the mangroves and into my backyard. Water comes all the way up to here. It's like a mid-tide right now, so the water kind of stops right about here. There's another light bulb. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. South Florida fishing channels rigs are the best. All right, I'll pick this bucket right here. Where should we start? Maybe with the takeout? You know what? I should probably put on some proper shoes. Blam! There we go. These will get me going. I have no idea what that is. Too bad there's no food in here. What we got here, a liquor bottle. Now we're talking. Oh, it's empty. The Marriott Resort. Mm-hmm. Okay. Crustacean. This must have been offshore for a long time. Hey, fishing bobber. Pretty funny. I don't remember the last time I've used one of these. Hello. Hooks are a little rusty, so I'll put some new ones on, but looks like a good lure. That's a killer right there. That's danger zone. If you look closely, a lot of this plastic is breaking down into pieces so small that there's no way I could ever clean them. There's just, there's no way that I could clean all this plastic. So I guess plastic does break down, just not really in a good way. I could be out here forever picking all this stuff up. Tops to bottles and then pieces of broken bottles or containers. That seems to be the number one thing. All right, you would not believe what I just found. Check this out. It's a bag of weed. I mean, that's the nastiest looking weed I've ever seen in my life. There you have it. There's even stems in there still. Okay, for the record, so I don't get in trouble for this, I am disposing of, of the weed into the water. Wait, not the bag though. Well, I guess for all you potheads out there, go to your favorite fishing spot and pick up some trash. You might find a bag of weed. There we go, three five gallon buckets. To me, it mainly looks like water bottles, plastic bins that are coming apart, shampoo bottles, tops of bottles, mainly bottles and containers. We got some sandals, found like eight light bulbs, which is kind of weird. A little bit of rope, but not too much. I did find a couple of these big bricks of tar. Break them open and you see they're tar. 
that's what like tires and stuff are made out of maybe from an oil spill i don't know solar light somebody tried to be eco-friendly with a little solar light but somehow that got out here little barbie doll whose head spins all the way around my favorite find of them all a sharpened pencil look at this i'm gonna use this to do my homework oh and then of course we can't forget the the lure that i found probably the one of the cooler things and that bag of weed so now that you've seen me complete the fishing bucket challenge it's time for me to tell you how you can win a bunch of fishing gear but i'm gonna go inside because it's hot out here and there's mosquitoes and everything i got a lot of fishing rigs right here and i'm giving a whole bunch of them away the nice thing about the south florida fishing rigs is they come in these four mil bags that are very thick so unlike other fishing rigs once you're done using the rigs inside of them you can reuse the bag repackage other rigs if you make rigs you can stick them in these bags you don't have to throw them away i got everything in here from Boy, stinger rigs, knocker rigs, stinger tips, great for barracuda, sharks, mackerel, mahi pitcher rig, great for mahi obviously, weight clips, I got my bottom drifter, wind on leaders, oh just a whole bunch of rigs. And I also have deep drop rigs. Here's how you win some fishing rigs. Step one, go to your favorite fishing spot and fill up a five gallon bucket with trash. Or you can fill up more buckets. Step two, take a picture like this one, showing your buckets. Or maybe post a picture with your face in it, make it a little more friendly. Yeah, I like that one, that's a good one. <laughs> Now post that picture to either Instagram or on Facebook. When you post the picture, make sure you use the hashtag fishing bucket challenge. And if you want, you can also tag me in your post at Heiko Winkler. That way I get a direct notification on my account that you just posted that picture. If you don't have an Instagram account, you can post it to Facebook. Use the same hashtag. You can tag me, Heiko Winkler, in the post, or you can just tag South Florida Fishing Channel in the post, which is my fishing page. Then what I'm gonna do on November 4th, I'm gonna check out all of your guys' posts. I'm gonna look up the hashtag, so anyone that used that hashtag, I can see your post. And I'm gonna pick one of you guys, or girls, and I'm gonna send you $200 worth of these fishing rigs. If I can get more than 10 of you to do this, then I will do a second giveaway where I'll probably be picking a winner on Christmas and I'll make it an even juicier prize. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I should make a fish, a shirt design for this video. I have no idea what the design's gonna be, but I will pop it up in the video right here. There it is. That's future Heiko that just made that design. I'll add a link below where you can buy that shirt. Every time you buy a shirt, it helps my channel out a lot so I can keep making these videos. Go clean up some shit. Go post a picture of it, and maybe you will win some fishing rigs. But no matter what, you will feel good about yourself. And if you really want to help me, make sure you push that like button, push that subscribe button, and share this video with some of your friends that you might think uh, want to win some fishing gear. Who doesn't want fishing gear? Buy more fishing gear!